Time for another week of the NFL. Now, week six, last week has been my breakthrough week so far, considering I've been doing relatively poorly so far this season. I had a great record last week. Uh, the Sunday afternoon games, I basically got them all right. And while I was watching NFL Red Zone, I was just, yeah, just thinking, yeah, this, I got this, this is the week I'll turn it around. And uh, now I'm just looking forward. Now I'm just looking to uh, get a positive record overall and really uh, just start beating out some experts. But uh, yeah, I gotta say, I, I nailed it. New York Jets, proud of you. So um, let's get into week seven anyway. Denver Broncos at the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, I'm gonna go with the with the Broncos. They they that was a pretty close game the, with the LA Rams. So I didn't even think that was gonna be that close, 23 to 20. And uh, the Rams did did end up winning it, but the Broncos held them close. Uh, Arizona needs to start producing more offense. I've said it last week; it's still the case. Uh, Broncos are gonna win. Tennessee Titans at the LA Chargers. The Chargers are really gaining steam. I feel like they're really getting. Uh, in that form right now and Joey Bosa still hasn't returned by the way. Philip Rivers is still playing an MVP caliber season. Uh, I've said it before but he's so underrated. Like even though he's recognized he's still underrated. He's been playing his best season statistically so far in his entire career and he's had a lot of good ones. So Chargers are going to beat the Titans in my opinion even though the Titans haven't been looking bad but the uh, Chargers are one of the better teams right now in the AFC and they're gonna they're gonna win. Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. I'm not going to make a lot of friends with the pick, but I'm going to stick with the Jaguars. Now, I know they stunk. I know they completely stunk it up against the Cowboys. That was not a pretty game to watch. It was over at halftime. It was horrible. It was bad. Uh, They made the Cowboys look like an elite team, as in like an elite, elite team. And uh, they need to to start putting points on the board. What they did there was... Bad even for you know for uh, their offense, and it was nowhere near the best defense in the league, which they you know claim to be. I'm gonna pick the uh, the Jaguars over the Texans anyway. If it's another game like this, I need to reevaluate my opinion though. Carolina Panthers at the Eagles, tough game. I'm gonna say the Panthers are gonna win it because I don't think the Eagles are quite yet in that that form that they were when they won the Super Bowl and all of last season, frankly. Uh, it's gonna be gonna be a close game though. Panthers didn't play as well as I thought they would last week, but uh, I'm gonna say they edge out over the Eagles. New England Patriots at the Chicago Bears. Give me the Patriots, even though I think the Bears might have a better defense here. Uh, they are not coordinated by Bill Belichick, but they have better personnel. They got Khalil Mack and uh, Danny Trevathan. They got a lot of good guys. And again, Mitch Trubisky has been playing a decent season so far, but it's New England. And uh, New England just beat the Chiefs, best team in the league, in that crazy game, by the way, 43-40. to 40. I I watched it in amazement. And Patrick Mahomes still performed, uh, by the way, even probably outperformed Tom Brady. But, uh, the, yeah, the Patriots held it together, and they're going to hold it together again. They're going to beat the, the, the Bears. Buffalo Bills at the Colts. Uh, give me the Colts. The Bills almost won last week, and had it not been for Nathan Peterman having to come in for... For Josh Allen, when he got his arm hurt, they might as well have done it because uh, Peterman then stunk up the game. But uh, I think Allen would have won it. Now the Colts fell to the Jets in in a good game. It was a really good game. I like I love to watch it. But uh, the defense kind of let him down. Andrew Locke's been playing well. He's getting into his groove again. And I'm going to say the Colts are going to beat the Buffalo Bills. Cleveland Browns at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Give me the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns. I'm picking them. Yes, they played bad. And they were blown out, frankly, by the Chargers. They're going to beat the Buccaneers. So, um, quick note. I like the uh, the last play that the Buccaneers had pulled off. And they, they should have won with that. Deshaun Jackson just they managed to field the ball. But it was a really nice play design. And I would have actually loved to see uh, that work. But it didn't. They lost. So the Browns. Still bronze of a box. Detroit Lions at the Miami Dolphins. Now, quick second, Dolphins. You got you got to be kidding me. You got Frank Gore. You've got Frank Gore carrying you from midfield to the one yard line, and then you hand it to Kenyon Drake, some other like another guy that is not Frank Gore, and he fumbles it on the one, and you won the game anyway. But you you know what? You should have lost it. You should have absolutely lost the game for being that stupid. I I had no words when I when I saw that. Just 
Man, disrespecting Frank Gortz. It's crazy. Dude is 35 years old and still putting up 100-yard rushing performances. Future Hall of Famer, by the way. Got nothing but respect for that guy, but that was a stupid decision. Uh, you can be glad you won that. That being said, now I'm going to say the Dolphins actually are going to beat the Detroit Lions as well. They won a game with Brock Osweiler. That says a lot. Now, I know that Osweiler had one good season with Denver when he uh, stepped in for Peyton Manning and made it to the Super Bowl, but he isn't exactly a consistent quarterback, and he managed to pull it out over um, over the Bears uh, in, in overtime. So, I'm going to say that the Dolphins are going to beat the Lions as well. New Orleans Saints and the Baltimore Ravens. Give me the Saints, even though the Ravens looked pretty good. They blew out the Titans. They shut them out. Zero points given up on defense. Strong, strong Baltimore defense. Saints have Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara. They are a whole different level of offense than the Titans. And I'm going to say they're going to overwhelm the Ravens. Cowboys at the Redskins. Important game. Really important game. Playoffs potentially on the line already. With Washington and Dallas kind of being the two teams in my eyes that are fighting for the number two spot. In the division, I think the Eagles are still going to win it. I'm going to give it to the Cowboys. They're coming off their strongest performance in the year. Uh, Redskins also did win, by the way. So this might actually be a really quality game. Going to say the Cowboys are going to take it home. And uh, they're going to beat the Redskins. The Rams at the 49ers. Now, originally this was supposed to be primetime game. Um, like, this was the game that the whole nation was looking forward to. Unfortunately, now with the injury to Garoppolo and essentially the entire 49ers starting offense at this point, uh, this is not exciting anymore. This is not a close game. The Rams are going to win it. I don't have a doubt. Bengals and the Chiefs. Going to give it to the Chiefs again because it's not like they played bad. Uh, their defense kind of allowed up a little too many points. Last last week, fun fact, I think Tom Brady got his longest rushing touchdown since 2012 or something, which was like five yards. It's crazy, the guy's old, but he made, he made it happen anyway against the Chiefs. Chiefs defense needs to step up if, if this team wants to have continued success. They're still 5-1, could have been 6-0. It's not going to work that same way in the playoffs, so offense is Super Bowl ready. Defense needs to step it up. They are going to beat the Bengals, though. And finally, the Giants and the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going to say the Falcons win it. I'm not sure if I have picked the Giants all year. If I have, let me let me know. But I, I can't remember actually ever picking the Giants this entire year. Not sure who they played, but I might have to go look it up. But, uh, the Falcons looked really... They looked pretty good. Uh, once again, they came back. They're in a great division. They got the Panthers, and they got the Saints. And if they want any playoff hopes, they cannot make any more mistakes. And they need to win every single game out of the NFC South. So the Falcons are going to beat the New York Giants, who... Barkley is great. Odell Beckham, I'm not sure what to feel about him. And Eli is Eli. And I don't think Eli... For, to be frank, I don't think Eli is going to finish the season as a starter. And um, they are going to lose to the Atlanta Falcons, because the Falcons... Offense is too strong, and they will not be able to compete with that. Minnesota Vikings at the New York Jets. Now, considering what happened the last two weeks, you would expect me to pick the Jets, right? But I'm going to go with the Vikings because I'm bold, but I'm not insane. Now, I know that the Jets are pretty good. Sam Darnold has been looking really, really strong. Maybe even better than I have expected him to play in this very first season. But the Vikings... I mean, the Vikings are so solid. They don't have a weakness on that team. Now that Kirk Cousins is there, and Case Keenan, by the way, has been performing somewhat poorly in Denver, the, the Vikings seem like one of the most solid teams, kind of like the Eagles did last year. So the, the, I'm going to pick the Vikings over the Jets, but if Donald manages to pull this one off too, bright future, man. The Jets are looking good. That's my predictions for Week 7 of the National Football League. Only 14 uh, games. This, this week, we got four teams on by, so a little bit less work, but uh, I'm hoping I can still keep going how I did last week and um, get a great positive record and uh, actually show some of my expertise, if I can call it that, without embarrassing myself on a weekly basis. So uh, let me know what you think, what do you agree with, what do you disagree with, more importantly, and um, also be sure to check out some of my other videos. I recently uh, released an analysis of the top five quarterback selections from last year's draft or this year's draft rather 2018 and gave my pro comparisons 
NFL comparisons for those guys, so go check that video out if you have not done that yet and let me know what you think about it. Thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.